Hello everyone, I am Niranjan. In this session, we will discuss on how to do part drawing of a crane book of remaining parts. So in the last video, I have shown you how to do the part drawing of the first part that is crane book. So in this session, we will start with the part number 2 and part number 3. As you can see in the part number 2, there are 3 holes and also in the center we have another hole. So I will start with the part drawing of the part number 2. I will go to front view and I am going to draw a length of 7600 for my reference. And going to draw a circle of radius 18 and dia 15. This is dia 15 mm, and another one is dia 18, means it will be 36. Same thing, I am going to do it on other side 36 and dia 15. This is 15 mm dia, then this will be 36. 18 into 2 will be 36. Now I am going to find a midpoint of this. Let's take a midpoint here. Okay. Small dimension. This will be 76 divided by 2. It will be 38. Now I am going to join from here to the center. So I am just doing this line. Now I am going to measure this distance as 1 on 5. The distance is given 1 on 5. Okay. This is 1 on 5. Now from there again you can draw another line. The distance is given 18. So I will measure 18 mm from here. Then I can draw it. Dia 38 and dia 15. So this is dia 15 mm. Now I have drawn all those things. Now what I will do, I will take one line randomly. Now you need to select the line and a circle. Give the relationship as tangent. Follow the same thing for a bottom circle. Select a line and a circle. Give the relationship as tangent. Now you can see here, this line is overdrawn, I am going to trim it line, otherwise we cannot extrude it. So repeat the same procedure for the right side, I just take one random line, select a line and a circle, give the relationship as tangent, again select a line and another circle, give the relationship as tangent. Now I just trimmed it here, I just zoomed it and see, now you can see it is not touched, so extend it so that it will touch the circle. <coughs> now I will draw another circle and the dimension is given as 25, dia is 25. Okay, so the length is given height is given 32, I will measure 32, <coughs> now I trim all the lines for extrusion, I am trimming now, yeah, so I am done with this, you can see if it is fully defined, come out from the sketch, go to extrude, as per the given problem, thickness is given 7, I just highlighted, thickness is 7, say OK. Ok, now again I select the screen, go to sketch. Now I am going to draw another circle. So the diameter is given, you can see in the right side, dia is 6. Dia is 6 mm. I'll just reference line. 
okay so let's see the center how much it is 38 yeah it's fine it's in the center so what could be the center from here to there the pitch circle is 35 so 35 divided by 2 it is 17.5 it is 17.5 i'll make this as vertical yeah now we can see it is fully defined so come out from the sketch go to features and cut out cut out for a length of 7 now instead of doing another two circle i'll go for a pattern circular pattern so parameter is this man and features to face this is the one just open a tree yeah now i did only three i don't want four done so using pcd pitch circle diameter of 35 using pattern option i am done with the part number two so i'm going to save this let's say it is part two so now i'll move on to the part number three Part number three. Yeah, you can see the part number three has given again two views. So one is the front view, another is the top view. So what you have to do is we need to draw a square of side forty six. Square of side forty six. Forty six is the side. So go to features, you can extrude, the extruded length is given 22, 22 is the extruded length, okay, I select one of the face, go to sketch, sketch, here I am going to draw a circle of dia 38, dia 38, come out from the sketch, you can extrude, Extrude for a length of as you can see here 22 and 31. So 22 we already extruded. 31 minus 22 is 9. 9 divided by 2 will be 4.5. I hope you understand. So 4.5 because it is on either side. Same thing I am going to do on another side. Here also I need to draw a circle of dia. 38 dia 38 so extrude again length is 4.5 and you can see the fillet radius is provided radius of 3 r3 so go to fillet select the radius as 3 and you can select the edges 1 and another edges here say ok you draw a fillet radius next we need to draw dia 32 select the face go to sketch dia 32 again i will take circle and you can show dia is 32 come out from the sketch now we need to remove it go to cut out cut out for a length of 3 cut out length is 3 mm Okay, next again I'll select the same sign, draw a circle and dia 25. Dia is 25. Come out from the sketch, go to features, you can say cut out. So instead of blind, I'll select through all. I'm done with this. Next thing is we need to draw a circle of dia 16 and dia 12. I select one of the face, go to sketch. I am going to draw a circle of dia 16. Dia 16. You can check whether it's in center or not. This is the center. And you 